Kanye West drops and is around, but it's not really... Like I said, too, it's not really impacting culture. I said it last week, his fans were in the comments mad. What are you talking oh, about? Mad as hell. Kanye West not impacting culture? He's not. Just because he's dropping and just he's the talk of the week does not mean he's impacting culture. And if he's taking an independent route, he's definitely not going to impact the charts. So you're more likely not going to hear him on the radio. You're more likely not going to hear him around your friends, you know, because we might not even get this album. Because if people are not even clearing it, like, I don't know how that's going to work. Like, other artists collabing with him, they have labels. So they have to clear with their label. If Kanye West has no label, they're probably going to be, hey, if we don't fuck with him, we don't want to clear that. It's going to be a sticky situation. But moving on to the album, it drops, supposedly, the Kanye West Vultures album with Ty Dolla Sign is dropping. Now they're saying December 31st, New Year's Eve. Do we believe this? I do not. No. This is not going to drop. This album's not going to drop. This is going to be like the new Dr. Dre Detox, that mysterious album that everyone saw the features, heard snippets of, who's writing on it, everyone's on it, oh my God, never comes out. Classic, oh my God, this is crazy, never comes out. We saw last week, I saw it literally live the online, the listening party that happened, the most recent one in Miami, the, the official one in Miami. There was snippets played and there was people on stage. The snippets sounded decent. My favorite one was probably The Future. One future on this album sounds crazy. The song by himself, I think, is not the one with him and Young Thug. It's Future by himself. Chris Brown's on the album. The sound sounded pretty good. Little Wayne's on the album. A Little Wayne verse was played. Northwest's daughter, her first rap songs ever. I think about three songs she's on them. One by herself. Uh, it's Miss Westy, 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 Westy. Already sounding better than Adonis. Sorry, Drake. It's true. Um, had to compare them. Why not? Same year. That's your peer. Um, and also, Northwest and Adonis might run this country one day. We never know. Kids are the future. Freddie Gibbs wrapped his ass off. Phenomenal verse. Um, I was shocked. Freddie Gibbs and, and, and Kanye, what the fuck? Out of nowhere. People would want that. It happened, and we got it. Um, but like I said, album pushed back. Now, he also went on a crazy rant, right? Kanye hates when he call him crazy. I'm sorry. The rant was about 15, 16 minutes long. And he mentioned everything. He went off. He called out um, everyone saying that he's alone in this. There was a viral moment that I posted about him in Northwest. He said that his daughter had to kick the couches of the house, or basically the Kim's house, to go with him, hang out with him, to be with him. Like, she's not allowed to see him, basically. You know, and I believe that Kim seems like she doesn't want the children around him because of the state of mind that he's going through. He's in Italy getting his dick sucked on a boat with no shoes walking around looking like Noel said stinks. Someone else said that he looks like he stinks. Who was it? Someone said it recently in the comments. No, no. Michael, Michael Rappaport said oh, that yeah, at the, the yeah, end, yeah, yeah, yeah. at the end of the rant, Michael Rappaport yeah. was ranting. He was like. You, your music stinks, and you look, and you dress like you, and you dress like you stink, and they're like going crazy. I like thought about Noah right away. Oh my god, it, it does look like crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? Bro, he looks like he stinks. He's not. Lo he's no longer getting shape ups. So like he's no longer caring about his image. And he also came at clothing. He said no luxury brands. Like why do we care about luxury brands? You know, saying he's on his Farrakhan shit. On his Farrakhan shit. Oh God. Basically going towards a route that we would want Kanye West to kind of be in, but then at the same time, you can tell he genuinely needs help. He's basically crying out for help. He's saying he has no one. You guys are here. You're not really with me. If you guys were with me, you would have posted. When I couldn't see my kids, you would have posted and supported me, blah, blah, blah. But with the Nazi stuff, the stuff I said recently, you guys stopped supporting me, blah, blah, blah. You guys are not really with me. You know what I'm saying? And he said to Nikki, oh, Nikki. I don't know why you're not, you're not clearing it. You know, I made you rewrite your verses on, on a monster. I've supported you your whole career. Now you're not clearing it. Hey, we might not drop the song. We might not drop nothing. And he was joking. Like, hey, no, nah, nah, Ty, we're going to drop. I know you want to drop, Ty. Because also Ty Dolla Sign's album. He was like, obviously you want Ty Dolla Ty Dolla Sign wants that shit to drop. Is this album going to come out? I genuinely do not think it will come out, especially not this year. Um, it was pre-ordered up. The link was up, etc. It is not. Listen, man. We genuinely need to, it's hard to, right? Because the snippets, they sound amazing, right? And if it drops, we're going to listen to it. I'm going to listen to it. We're going to react to it. It's Kanye West. But this is bigger than just music with him. I think we have to genuinely make sure, not us because we're not around him, but people around him need to make sure that this man 
if he is the genius that I believe he is, if he is the greatest artist of all time that I believe he is, then we need to genuinely protect him and make sure that he gets help. Not just care about all the clout, the party, the rant, bunch of clout chasing bitches. If we're being honest, these girls were around him like, oh, pardon the language. But they were around him like, yeah, you're right. You're not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. He had to kick one of them out. He kicked one of them out. Like, get her out of here. Because she kept talking while he was talking, trying and to dick ride him. It was not Yes Jules, by the way. It wasn't Yes Jules. People thought it was Yes Jules, not Yes Jules. Shout out to Yes Jules, who's been helping him organize the parties in Miami, everywhere. I think she went to Saudi Arabia with him. Shout out to Yes Jules. But, yeah, I think it's very cor- corny, like, the way that people are dick riding him. He's basically standing up against the stand culture that basically drives his career right now. The yay stands. He's calling him out without calling him out directly. Literally. You guys are not with me, blah, blah, blah. That girl's trying to dick ride him. He's like, shut up. Let me talk. Like, why does he, he doesn't need the stand coach. He doesn't need, like, the people to dick ride him because he dick rides himself. His ego's on a thousand. God complex. The God complex on a thousand. Oh, yeah, that person was like, well, you think you're God. Yeah. Yeah, he does. You know, or like, you're not God, blah, blah, blah. So, I think right now, we're, Kanye's career's on a hill, right? Not peak like good or bad like as far as the trajectory of his best music worst music i just think in his life right if his life right now was a hill let's say he was going down the hill right now he potentially was gonna go up a bit we're gonna see unfortunately hopefully not but i can see it happening i don't want to predict negative things i don't want to put it out into the world but i can see a major crash happening in his life i agree because that's the road he's heading towards if kim kardashian is not really supporting him you know, his baby mother, they have four fucking children together. We're going to see some of the most craziest things we've ever seen in, like, culture, pop culture. And I don't even want to say specifics, you know, but I just know with history of, like, these mega mind celebrities, the road that shit leads to. And I think that's what's going to happen with Kanye. Um, but Vultures, you think it's going to be one of his best albums if it drops, Mar- uh, Noel, Marlon? Um, well, Marlon's not, not a huge Kanye fan, yeah, so I don't, I don't really care for it. I'll tell you this: when it comes to the Vulture album, it doesn't drop. It's not going to. This is a giant manic episode. Everything he's doing, dropping the the track list, that's all a part of the manic episode. Um, but if it does drop, his part is gonna. So the features will be amazing. The production will be amazing. When he starts speaking, I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> I'm gonna skip it because I don't want to hear him. He is going to be fucking terrible. If this is how bad his manic episodes are going on, what's happening right now in Miami, yeah. nigga, you are going to hear pure nonsense on them tracks. Yeah. And you're going to try desperately to rationalize what he's saying. And I just don't have the energy anymore to rationalize someone who's irrational. I can't do it anymore. On Vulture, the song, he was probably the worst part. Yeah. The only thing that stood out was like, I just fucked a Jewish bitch. But he knew he had to say that. He had to say a line to, to pro, pro, thought provoke and like get people's attention. But is that actual like punchline ex- excellent rapping? No. No. You're just calling shit out. I just fucked a Jewish bitch. You're just trying to like, you know, clickbait. And I get it. It works for attention. But is it quality Kanye? We've gotten clickbait Kanye in the past through quality Kanye. Gold Digger. A lot of songs a and like moments. Songs that are trolling songs. It. it happens. But to be f- purely trolling and like no longer like I don't think it's trolling. I think that's the problem. You think he just has? I he think just he sucks. Believes, he believes this. He thinks it's fire, but he actually sucks. I think yeah. he believes everything he's saying. Because you're right. You just said something amazing. The fact that Kanye Thank has you. had a history of ma- this thing is hilarious. The fact that Kanye has had a history of making trolling songs where he's he's using his songs to make social commentary and yeah. make fun of us. Gold digger. Uh, the new workout plan. Yeah. These are songs designed to criticize the society. Now we got to a point where he's just saying bullshit straight up. I think it's because he truly has lost his ability to subtly make his point. It's not up front. Yeah. And this thing. isn't strategical. This isn't like designed to get a reaction out of society so he can have more stands. No. He believes the crap he is spewing. And that's the scariest part about it. He's, he's rationalized. Because as, as long as he believes it, his stands will always believe it. 